Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be doing a review on this Ringside Tornado freestanding punching bag. So stay tuned. Okay, so before I give you guys a full review of this Ringside Tornado bag, let me give you guys a quick close-up of it from the top to bottom. Starting from the top, you have the actual punching bag itself. This is a uh, medium to soft density uh, foam on the inside. That's really forgiving. It has a 24 inch height from the bottom of the bag to the top of the bag and 11 inch diameter across. It is a vinyl out outer shell, so it's not genuine leather. It says Ringside right here across um, a nice consistency to it so that's that just show you guys kind of some, some of the close-up of the stitching it has like a little hole up top uh, the nice thing about this bag is it also has a zipper you can open this and you can actually see the the foam on the inside i'm going to open that up and you can see the kind of foam that they use here is kind of a, a open cell foam that's on the softer side so that's the foam right there on the inside. I'm gonna go ahead and put the zip back, back in and it has this little pocket that tucks into. Now down to the actual spring. So the bag portion is actually mounted uh, to this plastic piece right here. That's this nice hardened plastic and he uses these machine screws with an Allen head. And that's also included when you install this. It comes with an Allen key to tighten that up. So you have two on that side as well as two on the other side. Um, and then you have this nice industrial steel spring that you can see there that has some good flex to it and kind of give you guys an idea how that looks close up. And the other side is the same as the top. The bottom also has four machine screws, two on each side that has an Allen head and that is actually bolted on to the steel base. This is actually a nice hefty piece of steel and I definitely like the thickness of it. It feels really high quality grade down to the base plate which covers the opening where you put water or sand you have four again of the same size allen screws that go in here and it's a split base this is the same kind of base that they use on the old ringside cobra bag it's a split plastic base that you can fill with 140 pounds of either water or sand or both and you fill it up you can't see the hole right now because it's covered by this plate uh, but it has a plastic cap that you screw over the top of the water hole so water can't spill out. Then you put this, this base piece on um, and that's it. So that's how it looks all completely assembled. Pretty simple setup. It took me maybe 15 minutes total, not including filling the water up on the base to assemble this. Uh, a, a quick and easy process to get this thing assembled. Let's go ahead and do the review. Hey, what's up guys, Carl Lowe here. And today I'm doing a review on this Ringside Tornado freestanding punching bag. You can get this from ringside.com for $329. You can also get a youth version of this bag, which is, uh, I believe, $239, so it's about $100 cheaper. Um, and it's the exact same setup. The only difference is going to be this metal pole right here that mounts to this plastic base is shorter. So it has a height of 56 inches, where the adult version that you see here has a height of 68 inches, which is five foot eight, and is my height. The main drawback with this bag is that it does not have a height adjustment to it. So this is the height that it stays at. Um, and that's unfortunate because I feel like you should be able to adjust the height on this. Now the whole premise behind this tornado bag is that it's kind of a hybrid between a Cobra reflex bag and a freestanding punching bag. So you're kind of getting best of both worlds where you have that nice dense feel of the padding that you get with a heavy bag, but then you also get that rebound that you would get from a Cobra bag. This is a perfect setup for those of you that are maybe living in an apartment and you can't mount a heavy bag to your ceiling um, and you can't have something that's too noisy. It's, it's a relatively quiet bag so you don't bother your neighbors and you're looking maybe to satisfy both your need for a heavy bag and a Cobra bag. You can essentially get it with this bag and so it kind of kills two birds with one stone so to speak with this bag. Um, and it does a pretty solid job uh, with that being said. Now, just to give you guys the dimensions again, um, this thing is 24 inches in height from top to bottom of the bag right here. It has an 11 inch diameter, 
It uses a vinyl shell with a medium to soft density foam padding on the inside. It does have a zipper closure at the bottom so you can see the foam. And then it has this hardened plastic coupler on both sides that contains the steel spring right here in the middle. That's what gives it that rebounding action that you see. So you, have, you can see it has a pretty nice free rebound feel to it. And just to kind of give you guys, and you can see it's pretty quiet as well. It doesn't make a lot of noise, which again is a big benefit for those of you that live somewhere where you can't have something that makes a ton of noise. And then it goes into this nice steel pole that is really nice and solid. It has a couple of machine screws that hold both the bag up top to this coupler. And then you also have this coupler here that's held to the steel pole. And then it uses the same plastic base that you can fill with water or sand that you would find on the Ringside Cobra Reflex bag. So the exact same base, it comes in two pieces. You fill them up separately and then they come together. They connect like a puzzle piece and it has a plastic cap that you just screw on top to close the uh, water port so you don't get any water splashing out of it. And then from there, this steel pole right here mounts on top of it to, to cover it up. So I've been wanting to get this bag for some time now, see how this thing performs. Obviously, it, the fact that it's kind of a cross between a, a cover bag and a, and, a, and a heavy bag makes it really interesting. So I'll show you guys just a quick overview of how this thing feels when I hit it, how it works, what you can work on with this. So you can see that when you hit it, you definitely get a much more heavier sensation than a standard Cobra bag where it's a lot quicker and, and it just has a little bit more of a popping feeling. With this, it actually does feel like you're hitting more of a soft filled heavy bag, except this one actually rebounds. So hitting it with jabs. The cool thing about this is that it forces you to work on your timing. It's not like a static heavy bag like the nozzle one I have sitting back there or when you hit it, you just kind of hit it and you can go off whatever rhythm and speed you want to and the bag will just kind of sit there in front of you. Uh, the main drawback with this Tornado bag is that it sits up too high and you can't work on any shovel hooks. No body shots with this because you can see how, how high it sits. So if you're trying to work any kind of body work, you can't really do that with this bag. I mean, you can essentially kind of hit it at the bottom right there, but you just don't get the same feeling and sensation you would on a traditional heavy bag. So that's the main drawback. This to me is more for straight punches like your jabs, your cross, and your and your um, your hooks. You could do uppercuts on this as well, uh, but I feel that it just feels a little bit on the awkward side. You can still do it, it just feels a little awkward. So to me, this is more for those of you that want to work on your conditioning, uh, but also work obviously on your timing and your reflexes with this. So again, you can work on your one twos, a little bit of speed, and then obviously the big thing about this is going to be your defense. So you can, you can work on, you know, work, rolling your shoulder, work on your head movement. And it actually has a surprisingly quick rebound to it. So if you're not paying attention and you, and you know, you know, you don't move your head, you don't slip, this thing will hit you in the face. So you do have to be relatively quick with it to make sure that you move your head out of the way so you don't get hit in the face. Compared to a standard Cobra bag, I definitely feel like my heart rate gets up quicker with this just because you're having to put more force into your punches, more power into your punches to get this bag to move. It's not like you're hitting a Cobra bag that's just inflated and it doesn't really take a lot of force for you to get that Cobra bag to, to move back and forth. With this, you definitely have to put a little bit more power into your punches in order to move this. You also have to change the cadence of your punch, the speed on which you throw it, because I found myself missing a lot of my shots too when I try to go at full speed. And so it kind of forces you to work on your timing. You can't just throw as much as you want and expect to land everything. You have to really work on timing this bag when it comes back to you. So you can work on hooks, you can work on some uppercuts, you can work on your combinations. It does take power pretty well. Um, I had this all the way filled up with water, about 140 pounds of water. If you do throw some really heavy shots with this, even some kicks, if you're looking to kick it, this base will move a little bit. So just to show you guys. So you can see it has a little bit of vibration. It's not terrible, but it does kind of lift up a little bit when you hit it with some power. So it's not bad, but again, 
do keep in mind we will get some of that. And if you're looking, I mean, if you're looking to just hit this with a pair of power shots, you're kind of missing the point behind this bag to begin with. Not saying that you can't hit it with power, but if you're just hitting it with straight up haymakers, then you're kind of, you're not getting the point of this bag. So, but you can see just for the, for the, for the sake of showing you guys what it does when you hit it with some good power. So that's as much as I was able to get this base to move around. But overall, I'm really satisfied with this tornado bag. I think it's a great setup for those of you, again, that are in a situation where you can't hang a heavy bag, you need a freestanding bag, and it needs to be quiet. To me, this is the perfect setup. Now, if you're not in that situation, and you already have a Cobra bag, and you already have a, a, a freestanding, or if not freestanding, or maybe you do have a freestanding, or you already have a standard heavy bag that you can hang from your ceiling, then I wouldn't get this. To me, it's not, it's not worth it if you already have those other training uh, devices um, because you really don't need something extra like this to replace that because you already have something that works well. So just adding this tornado, tornado bag to your gym if you already have a Cobra bag or if you have a double end bag or if you have a standard heavy bag to me is overkill and you're not gonna really benefit anything in addition with having this than what you already have. To me, this is just for those of you that are in a situation where you just don't have um, the opportunity or you don't have the resources to be able to go with a heavy bag or have something that makes too much noise. So that's my thoughts on that. Um, it does cost $329, which is kind of expensive. My recommendation with that is maybe to wait for Ringside to do a sale. They typically do sales throughout the year, anywhere between 20, 30, 40, 50% off I've seen. So I would make sure to take advantage of the sales and not pay full price for this uh, because $329 is $329. So um, I, you know, as much as possible, try to save some money with that. So. If you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find this Ringside Tornado freestanding punching bag. I'll see you guys later. Peace.